Hi, in this video I'll show you how to install the Windows subsystem for Linux on Windows 10. Okay, to get started, you can see on my screen here I'm on the Microsoft website and I'm at the WSL install page. So I'll leave a link to that in the description for this video. Um, so the install process is really quite simple. You can see here there's a command that needs to be run on your Windows system. It's just WSL dash dash install. So I'm just going to run that. Um, but to do that first, you need to have PowerShell open. So to open PowerShell, you can just click here in the search bar, type PowerShell, and then right click and run as administrator. As you can see, I already have PowerShell open here. So I'm just going to run the WSL command. And hit enter okay and that's gonna take um, maybe a few seconds just to get up and running okay there you can see it's kicked off so the actual install process it can take a bit of time um, so I'm just going to pause the recording um, while it runs Okay, you can see it's making some progress here. It's now downloading the WSL kernel, which again could take a few minutes. Okay, download complete. Now it's going to run the install. Okay, so now it's downloading again. Um, it's downloading Ubuntu, which is the Linux OS that's installed by default as part of a uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. That can be changed, um, but in this video, we're just going to run with the default, which is what I use myself personally. I always run Ubuntu on WSL. Okay, you can see the download of Ubuntu is now complete. Okay, so now you can see that it's telling us that the operation is successful. So we now should have WSL installed on our system. And, but it's also telling us here that we need to reboot before the changes will take effect. So I'm just going to reboot my machine. I'll just pause the recording while the machine starts up. Okay, so you can see my machine has booted up. So now I should be able to find an install of WSL here on my system. So I'm just gonna come down here and type in Ubuntu. And you can see it here. So if I click on this, WSL should start up. Okay, as you can see, it's starting up here and it's telling me it's installing Ubuntu. So this install process, again, it could take a few minutes just on the, the first startup of WSL. So I'll just pause the recording again while this starts up. Okay, so you can see the uh, install and startup process have completed. And you can see up here in the top, I have this little Linux icon here. Um, just to confirm everything is working as it should be, I'm just going to run a, an apt get update.
sorry, that should have been just apt, sudo apt update or apt dash get update. But anyway, you can see um, that that command is running, which shows that our Linux install is good. Okay, looks good. So yeah, you should update um, your system then maybe by running um, an apt upgrade uh, just to make sure you have the latest um, security patches and things like that for the install of Ubuntu. But that's it. Um, you now should be able to run Linux uh, on a Windows system. Okay. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and thanks for watching.